Euclidean geometry. This is part five. We are going to practice few good questions from proportionality theorem and midpoint theorem. Watch and learn the method. In triangle ABC, DE parallel BC, AB equal to 28 cm millimeter, AE is 2 EC is 4 is to 3. Determine the length of BD. This is a basic question just to explain how we calculate the sides. Uh, unknown sides of the triangle. Now, we are given the ratio A is to EC is 4 is to 3. It is not 4 millimeter is to 3 millimeter. Remember that. So, what we have to do is when you get the question on the diagram, you can mark AE as 4P, 4 parts, and EC, 3 parts, like that, okay? And also we are given AB equal to 28 millimeter. You can also mark that length. Now, determine the length of BD. The basic idea of this diagram, DE is parallel to BC. So we apply the proportionality theorem because a line drawn parallel to one side will divide the other two sides in the same proportion. So here the question is to calculate BD. Okay. So we can write the proportion BD over AB. Okay. Or BD over AD. Anyway, we can write the ratio. Now look at the given information. We are given AB and we are going to calculate BD. So it is always better to start with our question uh, which is the unknown is BD. So you write BD over 28. Okay. It's given. It's available equal to go to the other side what is the corresponding side of uh, BD EC that is 3P over in the place of AB here we have AC how much is AC A to C 4P plus 3P that is 7P and we write the reason in the bracket line parallel one side of triangle. that's the way you have to answer. Now, we solve for BD. BD is equal to cross multiply 3 or P and P cancel 3 over 7 times 28. We get the answer. Hope you are clear. This is a basic question. Now, look at another question of similar nature. Here, what is our question? Calculate the value of y. So, immediately we can write y over 35 okay, is equal to 18 over how much is the total from C to E? 42. And we solve for y, which is equal to 15 centimeter. Again, we continue. D and E are points on sides A, A, B. Okay, D is on A, B. E on B, C. Okay, such that A, D is to D, B is equal to 2 is to 3. Immediately we write 2K and 3K. Good. Again, we have B, E is equal to 4 over 3, E, C. Look at the format. It is not given as B is to E C or B E over E C, but we will manipulate, we will change it. We will write B E over E C is equal to 4 over 3. B E over E C. So B to E 
is 4p and e to c will be 3p. We mark like that. Okay. Now, what is the question? If dk is parallel, we are given parallel lines. Okay. Of that parallel lines are applicable for the triangle ABE. And also automatically, look at this small triangle. This EP is part of the parallel line. So we can say EP is parallel to DK as well. So we make use of the proportionality theorem in these type of questions. Okay. So cool down and mark the sides and then you work out for the question. What is our question? Ratio. Find the ratio of CP is to PD. So we start there. We will start at CP. Okay. Now for this ratio, we can immediately write it as VE over EC equal to 4 over 3 or BE is 4P and EC is 3P. Okay. Let us take this uh, question. Now CP is to PD. So we start there. Where is CP? Look at CP. We consider this small triangle here. CP is to PD. That is our question. Must be equal to CE over EK. According to proportionality theorem. Because EP is parallel. Now we have no idea about uh, EK. Okay? So let us start now writing the equations. CP over PD equal to 3P over EK. We keep it. Okay, that is our basic equation. Now, EK, our intention is to get EK. Then we look at the triangle where EK is a part. Look at the big triangle here in blue color. EK is a part. Okay, we have A to B is 5K. We have B to E is 4P. Okay, so all these informations we are going to use now. Start. E k over 4 p e k over 4 p will be equal to 2 k over 5 k. We got the equation like that. From there we can write e k equal to e k is equal to 2 over 5 cross multiply. Okay, so 4 p we get 8 p over 5. We keep that one and we are going to use it into the basic equation there. Now. CP over PD is equal to 3P over EK. That is our equation. Where EK is 8P over 5. We substitute there. And we simplify. Okay. P and P cancel. We get 15 over 8 as the answer. In triangle ABC. AB parallel FD. AF. Parallel DE, all these are marked. FE is to EC is 3 is to 4. So we mark 3K and 4K. That's our technique. Now, also, you can see the parallel lines here. So if this DE is parallel AF, okay. Now this is 4K. So you can, immediately you can write the other side ratios. You can mark it as 4P and this is 3K so you can write 3K there 3P okay 4P and 3P there so that is the, the, the technique we have now the question is EC is to BC so we have to calculate EC over BC okay we have some idea about EC that is 4K but BC we have no idea at present so we start with the question EC over BC equal to 4K over 4K over BC. Okay. We start there. Now we will solve for BC. We will calculate BC. Then. Now look at this triangle. We have a, a BC there as the longest side. Okay. And then we have the longest side on the other side AC. Okay. We have that one. What is that? Now look at this one in the place of 4P. The side is here. FC. So that is 4K plus 3K. Then 3P plus 4P will give you 7P. Okay. All these we have. 
Now we calculate BC. How do we start? We write BC over FC. Look at this. BC over FC. Go to the other side. BC, in the place of BC, we have 7P. Okay. We write 7P. And in the place of FC, we have 4P. Simplify into 7 over 4. Again, we simplify again. We, have, we want BC here. So we cross multiply and we get 49K over 4. Okay, hope you understand. So we want BC here in the denominator. So that one is now in the place of BC. We will write 49K over 4, which gives us K and K cancel. Simplify to 16 over 49. So the question is EC is to BC is 16 is to 49. Okay, that's how we answer it. Okay, here is another beautiful question. Triangle ABC and ACB. Okay, we have two triangles in front. XY parallel. Okay, it's already marked. YZ is also parallel to CD. Prove that XZ is parallel to BD. What is the triangle? That is the triangle ABD. So we have to prove that X is Z parallel to B. So we go to the given information. We have some parallel lines here. Go to the first triangle XY parallel BD, BC. So immediately we can write AX over XB equal to AY over YC. Because line parallel to one side of the triangle. Similarly, go to the second triangle here. That is a technique. Here also we have parallel lines. So we can immediately write AZ over ZD must be equal to AY over YC. Now look at the uh, equations. The right hand side, AY over YC, AY over YC. So the left hand side must be equal. Immediately we can write. Therefore, AX over XB must be equal to AZ over ZD. Okay. Therefore, what we understand, AX over XB is equal to AZ over ZD of the triangle ABD. So if the proportions are available, then we say XZ is parallel to BD. Okay. That's how we prove it. Good question. Determine the perimeter of triangle PQR in terms of X. So when we look at the diagram, we can see that there are midpoints on the sides. T, U, S are all midpoints. So we must make use of the midpoint theorem here. Our question is to calculate the perimeter. That is the total length of the three sides. So PQ, PQ must be... 2 times SU. Okay. 
that is the idea we have from midpoint theorem so we calculate that 2 times su that is 2 times 2x plus 5 which gives us 4x plus 10 in the same way we calculate all the other sides we get all of them we add for the perimeter and we get simply add them and we get 8x plus 24 the perimeter of triangle pqr end of part 5 now you practice a lot of questions from the metric paper okay watch these videos and prepare for the exams okay good luck